Hello, it's Jam Games here once again, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to change between a first and third person camera. So yeah, let's get started. So I have here a basically empty third person template. I only have added the sky here. But yeah, we have to go to the third person folder and then to the blueprints and to the PP third person character. Let's open it. Now let's go to the viewport. And here you can see we have this camera actor, follow camera here, which is the third person camera. So it's this camera that we can see through right now. But if we want to add a first person camera, for example, to the head, what we want to do, we want to click the character mesh here and we want to add and we want to search for a camera like this. And now what we want to do with this camera, let's actually first rename, rename it to the FPS camera, for example. And we can actually uh, rename this other to TPS camera. So it's easier to know which one is which. And you can obviously use whatever names you want, but yeah, this is good for me. So the FPS camera, what we want to do now with this, we want to first select the parent socket that we want to use. So we want to click here. So now we can see all the bones that the character mesh has. If you cannot see anything here, you may have set this camera to the capsule component and you cannot find anything. But you have to move it to the mesh. Okay, so it's under this. You can see it's not aligned correctly with this. It's a little bit more to the right. So then it's under this. Okay, now let's click the FPS camera. Let's click the search, select a different parent, parent socket. Let's open it. And we can use the head. We can put it there. And actually, yeah, we have to rotate it a lot, but Actually, let's do that first. So what we want to do with rotation, it's not rotated correctly. We want to click the camera and click E key so we can change to the rotate tools. Now we want to rotate it to here with the Z axis to the, let's actually change it to here, 90 like that. And also we want to rotate this X axis to minus 90. So now we have minus 90 and uh, on the X and 90 on the Z. So something like this. And now let's actually change this scale to a little bit smaller. So let's click this scale, this lock from here. Let's right here to 0.5. So 0 0.5. Now it changes it to all of these. Okay. As you can see now it's fitting better with the head. Now we want to move it a little bit further, like uh, forward. So let's click the V, so we can, uh, uh, sorry, we W, and so we can change it to the location tool. Now let's move it here, maybe a little bit up. So I think it should be around there. So let's, oh, it was not aligned with the head. What did I do? I did something weird, sorry. Let's Okay, now. So we want to move it by the X axis. And it's not moving by the X axis. Why is that happening? It's doing something weird. So let's actually change its location by here. So then Okay, it goes up. Let's not do it that way. Let's reset that to zero. And what we want to do actually, let's click the mesh. Let's, where we have this uh, anim class app many, let's click it and select none and compile. So the character won't move. Now it's easier to set the camera. Now let's click the camera again. Let's move it to here. Something like this. Maybe like 15 on the Y and a little bit up, I think. So something like so five on the X. So now it's aligned like this. I think it's pretty good. Okay. So now we want to click back to the, go back to the mesh and we want to change this any class back to the APP many. Okay. Let's go 
Cobalt and save. As you can see, the camera is aligned pretty nicely. What we can do now, or want to do now, we want to go to the event graph, and we want to create a... Actually, let's create first the input. So let's go to the edit and project settings. Let's click it and open it. Let's scroll down on the engine tab and to the input. Let's open the input. And here we have these action mappings. We have actually, this is, I did something with this before. You shouldn't have this, so let's delete. Okay, it should be empty. So let's add a action mapping. Let's click like that. Let's call it switch camera. Okay, now is select key value. Let's click it. Now you can press the key that you want to use. I want to use, for example, we. Okay, like that. Now we can just close this. It's already saved. Now we want to find some empty space, for example, from here. And let's right click and search for switch camera. Switch camera, like this. And let's move it to here. So what we want to do now here on the switch camera, we actually want to get a flip flop from here. Okay, like this, flip flop. And we, uh, yeah, like that. We don't have to do anything else here right now. Now we want to go to the functions and click here. So we add a function. Let's call that function change camera wheel, for example. Okay, compile and save. Now, what we want to do here, we want to actually add here a input. Let's call that uh, let's call that FP. Uh, actually, let's call it first person or something like that. Okay, and then let's keep the B on the keyboard I pressed and left click so we get the branch. Okay, let's connect it to here and connect also this con uh, first person branch uh, boolean to the condition like this. Now let's copy and save. Now let's go back to the event graph. Now we want to get that change camera view function. Now we want to get it to here. We want to connect it to the A and also connect it to the B like that. Now let's connect this is A to the first person like that. Okay. Now what we want to do here. So on the true, we want to get the FPS camera. Let's also get the TPS camera. Let's get it to here. Now from the FPS camera, we want to set active like this. Let's connect, get from the true and connect like this. And actually, let's do it this way. Let's move both of these uh, camera references down here. It's a little bit more here. Now, here from the FPS camera, new active true, like that. Now, let's get from the TPS camera also and set active. And we want to set it to false. So we want, don't want to click this. Now, one more thing, we want to copy both of these set active and set active, control C, control V, like that. Paste them here down, here at the down, sorry. And we want to get from the false and connect to here. Now we want to connect this FPS camera also to here, this TPS camera also to here. Now what we have to do, we want to change these. So the FPS camera is not active and the TPS camera is active if our first person uh, condition is false. So basically if it's true, we want to set the first person true. If it's not true, so it's third person, we want to set it to false. Okay, like this. Simple as this. Now let's compile and save. Now we want to go uh, to the level and press play and let's see. So I pressed V. As you can see, it's all working. Only thing that is not working is the uh, I cannot rotate with the mouse and also the screen. You can see this is shaking a lot. What we can do to fix that, I can show you. Let's go back to the BB third person character. Okay, let's go to the viewport. Actually, I will save here, save all because 
is has been crashing a lot. So we have uh, set this FPS camera to the head current socket. We want to search here and we want to set it to the where can I find it? Uh, I think it's search for it. Neck so neck one neck oh, uh, underscore zero one neck underscore zero two. Let's set it to the neck underscore zero one. If you want to set it to the neck underscore zero two, you can like this. Now we just have to I think we have to rotate this a little bit to the up. So I think it's around 60 degrees. Uh, actually, I think it was 70. What was the good value? And now we want to actually move it a little bit more up. So let's click from here. Oh, sorry, from the camera and click V. And, uh, sorry, W. And move it up. And also a little bit to here. So let's test with these values how it looks now. Let's compile. Save and go and check. If I press the V, you can see it's not uh, like moving that much, but still when we are running, you can see it's going like crazy. So what we want to do now, we can actually set it to the even lower bone. We can sec set it to the neck uh, underscore zero one, like that. Now, let's actually align this a little bit better. So, why? Let's make it 15. And this also 15. Ah, sorry, I think it was 20. Which okay, so 20 on the X, 15 on the Y. So, now it's here. Okay, let's compile and save. And now, you can see, when we press the V, you can see, Normally it's not rotating much, but when we run, of course it is, and we still can turn it with the uh, mouse, or we can, but yeah, it's only working when we are moving. So let's go back, and here on the FPS camera, we have this use pawn control rotation. Let's make that true, okay? Now you compile, save, and let's play again. And now it's working like this, and now let's go to the FPS camera. So now you can see, you can rotate and it's not rotating correctly still. Let me check. So what we will have to do now, we want to go to back to the PP third person character and we want to go to the change camera wheel and we want to right click from here and get player controller, I think. And or actually, we don't actually even have to use that. Uh, Get player control. We can just right click and we can search for use yaw. Set use controller rotation yaw. This. Let's get it to here on the FPS true and we want to set it to true like that. Now let's copy this node control C, control V and connect it to here. And here we want to make it false. Okay. Let's compile, save, and go oh, and test. So now our game is working normally. When we press V, you can see the player is rotating with the camera. Everything is working. If you press C again, yes. Uh, yeah, so I think everything is working perfectly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And I also have a pretty long Call of Duty Zombies tutorial series on my channel. It's been going for almost 100 episodes now, and people have liked it a lot. So if you like that kind of stuff, please go check it out. Uh, yeah, hope you have a great day, and see you in the next one. Bye.